Before we start, and I know you can't really make it not sound corny, thank you guys for everything, it's been pretty awesome lately. But oh my snap, you guys may be tired on the first day. I was just in class, and it was like the last class of the entire year, and I remember just looking at my phone and seeing my subs explode. <laughs> I was wondering why, and then I saw... Oh yeah, that, that makes sense. So yeah, Reddit can work wonders, I guess. Also, might I add, while I was getting all this stuff prepared for celebrating, I kept passing milestones. Right now I'm at 1500. I don't know if I'll have to re-script that later. In any case, I hosted a giveaway, which is ending Monday the 14th. And a Q&A. From a friend, Azazel. What got me into Soldier? Why us Hawiiians like spam? And who are my biggest art inspirations? When I first started playing TF2, my friend called me bad at rocket jumping. So like any other mad 12 year old, I became not bad by watching Star. I feel like that's a very common thing. We love spam because spam is really good. I don't know if you guys eat it alone or something because I can list a whole bunch of spam combos that are honestly one of my favorite foods. Also, art inspirations. When I was getting into SFM, my inspirations were Freaky Jacks, Crocodile, Uber Chain, and Miku. Another friend asked me, what are my plans on moving forward as a channel? Pretty much improve. Also in terms of uploading schedules, I try to keep it to at least two videos a month. Ideally three or four, but you know, animating takes a long time. Forgive me if I mispronounce some of these. Biba asked, for advice for new SFMers. Process what a good poster looks like and examine how and why other people make different things in their posters. Try new things and get a sense on what looks right. Also, he asked if I'm planning on moving on to other things like Blender and Maya. I kinda did that already, but I'm planning on getting into more of Maya as the year goes on. Hazel asks, if I do other types of art besides SFM. Yeah, but I'm currently bad at all of them. I wanted to start doing speed art drawings on this channel in maybe in a year or two, when I'll probably be half decent. Also, I do animation and modeling, so... How did I get the name Steg? Asked Car... Cardin? Cared? When I was about eight, I watched a dinosaur documentary called Dinosaurs Decoded, and I misspelled one of the dinosaurs. No, it's not Stegosaurus, you butts. It's... Stiggy Moloch. Or however you say that. That I played Minecraft and everyone called me Steg. Virtual asked me for my age. I'm one month younger than the guy that sounds 10 years older than me. A couple of people asked me for my first SFM poster, so here's a couple of them. Yeah, I was pretty bad, too. <laughs> well, some people ask me how I make good videos. Well, I animate using Adobe Animate CC, edit in Premiere, and record in my closet. Because better audio. First unusual, I unboxed an engineer's cap with memory leak, then gave it to my friend that told me he would pay me back, then he quit TF2, and move to Las Vegas. I've been using Photoshop for like two years. I don't play comp because I never have a consistent amount of time to actually play games. Although I have been told that I would do well in it. Why are you so good in SFM and stuff? Says all right, six people. Practice. <laughs> My favorite unusual effect is either scorching or burning. My least favorite is most of them. I don't really like unusuals for the most part. At least the ones that look dumb in posters. I've been doing SFM for about two years now. Maybe a bit less. I kind of lost track. Competitive TF2 is the only comp I care about because I'm stubborn. Anyway, thanks for the awesome year, guys. Oh, and I have an announcement. Ranch and a couple of my friends helped me make a Discord for you guys. Links in the description.